Actually, tilt, tilt that down a little bit, please. Fucking hey, this guy's a diva. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, you're a director too. You understand how that goes. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Chris Piertomenico from DorkDaily.com here with Jeff Anderson, the one and only Randall Graves. How are you doing today? What'd you say the name is? DorkDaily.com. How do I always wind up on dork shows? I don't know. Do you know where you are right now? Right now, um, this is Cincinnati. <laughs> it's like Spinal Tap. I'm in Rhode Island and I'm having a ball. <laughs> All right, so we're going to work on changing that name. Um, so tell us, it's it's so good to see you, so good to see you at the con. Um, what's it like being back at cons? I know you just started before the pandemic. What's it like to be around your fans again? Yeah, it's um, I started doing them like just before the pandemic hit. So I think I'm personally responsible for this happening. <laughs> I finally left my house. I'm like a cicada. I only come out every 17 years. Um, but yeah, no, I love these things. It's uh. They've been trying to get me to do it for a long time, and I don't know why. I'm like, I was nervous about doing it, um, but everybody is like so nice. It's like everybody is literally so nice to you all weekend. It's, it's hard not to like coming here. So it's fun to meet people. I'm, you know, with Clerks 3 coming out, I'm sort of gauging people's, you know, reactions or if they're looking forward to it or what. So it's fun to get out and meet people. So if I can ask you, uh, you know, kind of famously, Kevin kind of talked to you into Clerks 2 and then Clerks 3. What made you say yes? <laughs> he gave me a lot of money. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not true. There is no money in the Clerks franchise. Um, he just basically wears me out. That's why it takes like 12 years between movies. Um, I get the script and I go through it and I'm like, dude, this requires me acting and I can't act. So I'm not doing your movie. Uh, so it's, I get the script for about eight years and then I work on it. <laughs> Brilliant. So you have worked as a director before you did Now You Know. Um, are you planning to direct again? And how, how is that different from acting for you? Is there one that you enjoy more than the other? You know, I'm, I'm kind of, um, when I directed a movie, it was I, I wrote something that went around and it, it was optioned in a few places. And then a, a private company came to me and were like, do you want to make this movie? And I was like, yeah, awesome. And there was actually somebody else set to direct it. Um, but because the movie took place in New Jersey and we were shooting in California, they kind of had me like look at like what looks like Jersey and like what's a Jersey place. So I was basically answering all the questions anyway. And they, and they pulled me aside. They're like, do you want to direct this? I'm, I'm stupid. I've never done movies or anything. I was like, yeah, I'll direct it. What the hell? Oh, and I'll be in it. I wrote it. Who the fuck am I, Brad Pitt? <laughs> I watched Kevin do it, you know? Yeah, exactly. I said I saw Kevin sleep through most of the scenes in Clerks. I could sleep through most of the scenes. <laughs> but no, that was fun to do. Um, but again, it wasn't something that I really took serious. I, I just happened to write this script. Um, I did write another script after that uh, that I thought was good. I thought it was better than the first script, which was terrible. But uh, it, it got optioned in a few places, but nothing ever happened with it. And I, I don't really pursue it. I'm terrible at marketing myself. Um, and yeah, just kind of nothing happened with it. I haven't written anything in a long time. Sure. But, but I, I think every now and then to take that script out and polish it up and maybe send it out again, because I think it was a good idea. Hey, I'd love to read it, man. So, you know, let me know. We won't post it on dorkdaily.com, but... We're going to send it to the dorks, see what they think. <laughs> So you know, being back at the Quick Stop uh, to, to film a, you know, you guys had Quick Stop scenes in Clerks too, but to be there for most of the time, yeah. you know, what was it like being back there in that small space? I've been in there. I know how small it is. What was that experience like for you, like emotionally and then like logistically? Yeah, uh, it was weird. It's like uh, anytime you go back to the store, you, you just, I spent more time in that store than I care to spend in that store. Um, but it's amazing. It's like frozen in amber. Every time you go back, you're like, oh, we're in the store again. And it's like, as soon as we walk in, Brian and I just become Dante and Randall. Um, the store has not changed at all in all these years, except this time they had like marijuana stuff in there, rolling papers and everything else, which was a new addition. And it was exciting to see something new in there. Um, but yeah, being in that store is just takes you right back. Like we shot... You know, when we shot the original Clerks, I think the most people while we were shooting in the store was maybe 10. And that would be like a busy day. Um, and doing Clerks 3, I mean, we literally would have 50 or 60 people jammed in that store. And you've been to the store. It's not big. So it'd get very hot in there and very sticky and very muggy. But it's the fucking store, man. That's it. <laughs> 
what can fans look forward to the most in Clerks 3? What should they be the most excited about? You're just trying to get me to spill the beans, aren't you? That was Not at all. Worded. What is it? Um, how about this? Clerks 3, we'll see Randall without a hat. How's that? So are you, are you Randall without the hat or are you the guy from Dogma? Oh, tricky. I think I'm Randall without the hat. All right. Yeah, I just had to ask. Uh, so what else do you have going on? Is there any, uh, any, I know you said you're not good at marketing yourself, but anywhere people can check you out online. I think you're on Cameo, right? I am on Cameo. That's recent. Like, uh, I have no social media. I'm actually still on MySpace, but I only have one friend and it's Tom and I have no idea who that is. Um, yeah, no, the social media thing is like no good. Um, I did join Cameo and it's fun. I've met a few people here who had Cameos from me and they, they tell me they enjoyed them. So I'll probably keep doing Cameo, but that's as far into social media as I'm getting. And as far as what's coming up next, I'm going home and I'm relaxing. Dude, I respect that. So I, good. I'm not acting. I'm not pursuing acting. I'm not a showbiz guy. I'm going home to relax. I love that. You just do what you like. I mean, that's the dream, right? Oh, I don't like these movies, but I, I do them. <laughs> well, thanks for your honesty on there. But uh, Jeff, thanks so much for talking to us. It's a true pleasure to meet you in person finally. And uh, we will see you next year in Clerks 3. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. This show rocks, go dorks. All right. <laughs>